which would you rather have, being debt-free or being financially free? Let's say that you're $50,000 in debt, and you're like, man, I got to get debt-free. If you're focused exclusively on getting debt-free, and you're going to commit all of your dollars to getting debt-free, let's say you're taking $1,000 a month and trying to pay down this debt. If that money's on a credit card at 15% interest, it's going to cost you $20,000 in interest and take you 57 months to completely pay that off with a total focus on paying that debt off. What if instead we wanted to get financially free? We can also get debt-free, but if our focus is on financial freedom first and debt-free second, we do it a little bit smarter and we can build wealth in the process of getting debt-free. Instead of paying off that credit card with my $1,000 a month, I'm going to split that into two $500 a month payments. I'm going to take the $50,000 on my credit card at 15% interest and I'm going to do a balance transfer to a different card that's 0% interest for 21 months. When the 21-month term expires, I'm going to roll that to another 0% balance transfer card. And I'm going to do that as many times as I need until I pay it off. I'm paid $500 a month to pay off that 0% interest balance transfer. I'm going to have to move that money three times. At a balance transfer fee of $1,500 three times, it's going to cost me $4,500 to do the balance transfer away, but it also gives me freedom to go out there and build wealth with the other $500 a month. Instead of paying $20,000 in interest, I'm only paying $4,500 on balance transfer fees. That saves me $15,903 in interest. So not only do I get debt free in the same amount of time, I save $15,000 in interest and I've got $37,000 in cash stacked up ready to go out there and buy an asset like a rental property, an Airbnb, an ice machine. So you've got to figure out first, do you want to get debt free or do you want to get financially free?